In this video I will show you two mind-blowing video editing tricks. Both editing tricks are new and different. In both of these tricks I will use masking. Along with the masking, I will animate the mask. Which will make both our tricks very weird and mind-blowing. So to save your precious time let's go to the video. First open your Filmora video editor. For these mind-blowing video editing tricks I will be using Filmora 12. The first trick I'm going to show you is this puzzle transition trick. So to make this transition, we need two videos. I drag and drop the video onto the timeline. I have this video something like this. Another video I drag onto the timeline. This video is something like this. After dragging and dropping both videos onto the timeline, the first thing we need to do is move the playhead to the start of the second video. And take a snapshot from the start of this second video. The format of the snapshot is to select PNG. And then click OK. Drag and drop the snapshot onto the timeline. Double click the snapshot. Go to the mask section and click on it. From here click on the draw mask tool. I will draw this building using the draw mask tool. But before that I zoom the preview screen to my liking. Lock down track videos, so that down track videos are not selected during masking. Now I draw this building area in the snapshot using the draw mask tool. You also have to select any such object in your snapshot. Like a building, a tree, a mountain, or a car etc. You have to make a selection like this using the draw mask tool. Once you select the object with the draw mask tool. So you will have background removal of the objects in the snapshot. Like I hide the video of the track below. And you can see that the background of the building in this snapshot has been removed. I refit the zoom level of the preview screen. You can now unlock the track below. Move this snapshot picture forward a second or two towards the end of the first video in the same track. Now we need to apply keyframe animation to the snapshot. Select the snapshot. Go to basic section and click on it. Unfold the transform tab. Click on the keyframe button at the top here. And add a keyframe. To add a second keyframe, place the playhead at the start of the second video. Then select snapshot by clicking on it. And add an empty keyframe here too. After adding these two keyframes, go back to the first keyframe and select it by clicking on it. By position Y in this keyframe, the position of the building in the snapshot is to be scaled down. So it will create an animation something like this. Next, the extra length of the snapshot has to be deleted and its end has to be kept till the start of the second video. So this way you can create such puzzle transition in Filmora 12. On trick number 2 I am going to show you how to make text reveal in ocean waves in Filmora 12. So 
So for that I have a video of ocean waves in media. I drag and drop the video onto the timeline. This video is something like this. Now we need to add the text at the start of the video to the timeline. So for that, go to quick text tool. Click here on simple quick text. So you can see that we edited the text on the timeline. To edit the text, I double click on the text. Write whatever you want to write here. I select Rockwell Extra Bold for the text font. And I keep the font size 64. Now we have to do advanced editing of this text. So for that, double click on the text again. Click on the advanced button. Here I turn on the outline button. I choose black for the outline color. I set the opacity of the outline to 36. Set the outline blur to 3. And leave the outline thickness at 5. Next, turn on the shadow button. Here first I select the shadow type number 7. I keep the shadow blur at 10. I keep the shadow distance at 3. And finally I change the shadow color. And select it as black color. After doing this advanced text editing, click on apply button below. So you can see that we edited the text in a customized way something like this. Now I adjust the position of this text. I liken this text to the waves of the sea. I think this space is fine for the position of the text. At this point we are going to make the text disappear by masking under the sea waves. And we'll also do some animation in it. So for that, I first hide the video of the track below. And you can see that we're left with just text on the preview screen. So now we need to take a snapshot of this text. Remember that the snapshot format should be PNG. Okay. Delete text from the timeline. And drag and drop the snapshot we took from the text onto the timeline. I increase the duration of the snapshot according to the video. First I add an animation to the text with ocean waves. So for that, double click on the snapshot. Go to basic section and click on it. I move the playhead forward. Where the ocean wave is reaching the bottom of the text. And add an empty keyframe here. To add the second keyframe, I move the playhead further forward. Where the tide of the sea goes back. And here also add a keyframe. And in this keyframe I change the position of the text by position Y. And the position of the text I move closer to the waves. So this text will create an animation with ocean waves something like this. Next, we have to make the text disappear and reveal with ocean waves. So for that we will do masking. For masking, with the text snapshot selected, go to the mask section and click on it. Within the mask section, select the rectangle mask. Set the mask size to fit your text. And I put its position here at the top of the text. I scroll down to rectangle mask settings. Here I set the blur strength to 8.2. And turn on the invert mask button. So you can see that we have an inverted mask. Lock the video of the lower track, so that the lower video is not selected during masking. Now we add keyframe masking above the text. The first mask keyframe I add here is where we get the bottom wave of the text. For the second mask keyframe, again I move the playhead forward. And with the keyframe mask, I move the position of the mask above the text. Out, 
For the next keyframe the playhead has to be moved forward again. And the mask position is also adjusted over the text by moving it with waves. And also set where needed to adjust the size of the mask. This method is to add a keyframe animation to the text along with the return of the waves. In the same way, the keyframe animation of the mask with the ocean waves is to be added above the text. Sometimes we will also need rotation in the mask. As you can see here we need to rotate the mask with waves. So I rotate the mask to that keyframe. And when rotation is no longer needed, reset rotate at the next keyframe. Okay. 
So this way you can reveal text in sea waves by masking in Filmora 12. Hope you like these two mind-blowing video editing tricks. Friends you can watch many more similar videos on my YouTube channel. Hope you will like those videos very much. If this video helped you, please like it. It is much better for you to subscribe this channel. Because you will get updates of more upcoming videos of this channel. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.